All right, folks. Today we're gonna show you episode two of the Onsen Egg Burger. So stay tuned because it's time to grill. So it's basically a great idea to make a second episode of a video that might leave some questions open. So here are the answers. We get a great discussion going on about the first video of the Onsen Egg Burger. If you haven't seen the Onsen Egg Burger, then give it a try. And as promised in my home story, the video I made last Thursday, here is another episode of uh, a burger video. So this is basically my sous vide cooker. I showed that last time. And this one is able to cook your water um, exactly on the degree you fill in there because this is Celsius. Don't be uh, uh, afraid. This might work for Fahrenheit as well. And this cooks up your water. And yeah, it's no, f no uh, mistake in my writing. This one has to be cooked. So the eggs have to be cooked for 45 minutes. A lot of people ask me if this should work for 45 seconds and if it's just a, a writing mistake. It's not. This one is the recipe and uh, this one has to be cooked for 45 minutes. So there you go, 45 minutes, start your engine and now cook the eggs. Then we get another um, discussion about the name Onsen. Onsen is basically not the name of the city which I told in the last video it's the name for the water uh, where the Japanese put in their eggs which has that temperature uh, round about a little bit lower than 70 degrees Celsius so there you go cook your eggs in the meantime smash your burger this is 180 gram of finest German beef so here's another story for that one it's very used in the US making the smash technique in Germany it's not that popular that's why I made some videos about how to smash that right and stuff so this is the seasoning it's basically kosher sea salt black pepper ground garlic and ground onion so once you're ready give it a flip add cheddar if you like and then we take our egg so this is the result of 45 minutes cooking there was a tip from one of my viewers from the last onsen egg video uh, which told me that if we don't have to throw away the whiter part of the egg of course if we extract the egg yolk like this and we not put this into a bowl together with the uh, garbage from the egg we will be able to use this for another dish if you like that's basically one of the problems with the um, onsen egg it's uh, easy to extract but you have to be careful because you don't, don't can't eat it just like the way just put it in your mouth and eat it because it's not very tasty at all so you need to put this somewhere else so this is the second burger idea I had at this afternoon this is green pesto you might use salsa verde if you like you can make your own I've also uh, have some recipes for pesto that habanero pesto I made last summer would work as well here some lettuce and of course we got a discussion about the bun, the, I told the last bun was done by myself, it wasn't, I was wrong, so here's the video with the homemade bun. Some more green pesto, then add the onsen egg and some Terrano Meersalz, which is a salt seasoning, my own salt seasoning. Make sure to give this a shot if you ever be able to do so. Please hit that like button, comment and subscribe if you haven't by clicking on the logo now. That's it. Thanks for watching. I'm out. See you 